please. This hurts my heart to deliver this news. I'm not trying to put us on the spot. I'm not. I just know that this is something that we do a little bit more often than the men. Brace yourself, clutch your pearls, grab a tissue for the tears. It is now illegal to go through your husband's phone. And this is for every ear that can hear me. This is not just a Texas issue. This is also a federal crime. The Federal Wiretap Act states it is unlawful to intercept any wire, oral, or electronic communication. It is also unlawful to disclose the contents of the wire, oral, or electronic communication. Y'all know what's considered electronic communication? text messages, emails, DMs. And it doesn't matter if you're in a community property state saying that the phone is community property will not work. Even if your husband willingly gave you his password, it still would not work. The courts feel that even if he did give you the password, you went beyond the scope of what he thought you would reasonably be doing with his phone, such as taking screenshots of a text message that you would eventually use against him in court. I was in court waiting on my turn, watching another hearing before me. It was a divorce case and the wife was on the stand talking about adultery. Her attorney then started the process of admitting text messages into evidence that showed the husband was talking to this woman and it was very inappropriate. The text messages 100% proved husband was cheating. There was photos, there was conversations about the other night. All of a sudden, husband lawyer jumps up and says, Your Honor, I think you need to admonish the witness about her Fifth Amendment right to self-incrimination because she's about to tell on herself and admit to a crime. Then he turns ever so slightly and says, I think you might want to tell her lawyer as well because they'll both be in jail together. The judge then proceeds to tell her that how she came about getting those text messages out of her husband's phone is potentially a violation of the Texas Wiretap Act and the Federal Wiretap Act. He looks up at her lawyer and says, counsel, the fact that you're in possession of a lawful potential wiretap material incriminates you as well. And the judge did a quick recess so everyone could go consult with criminal law attorneys. Somehow you made it to the end of this video without choking. If you are still with us, here's a bonus. Here's an honorable mention. It is also now illegal for you to have air tags on your children if you're in the middle of a custody case. Let me know in the comments which one of these five laws had you almost throw your phone on the floor and I'll see you in the next one. This right here is very interesting because I'm not quite sure how many people will follow this law because dudes might still go through their girl phone and chicks will still go through their man phone. That's just what it is. But this is why I tell dudes all the time, bro. You don't have to go through your girl phone. In fact, as a man, you shouldn't go through your girl phone. If you feel the need to go through her phone, that means you don't trust her. That means she's doing something to make you feel she's not faithful. And in life, you got to follow your instincts. If something is telling you that, it is what it is. You don't have to go through your girl phone for confirmation. The signs are always there. That's why your job as a man is to observe your girl. And your girl shouldn't be going through your phone neither. She should have enough respect for you to respect your boundaries. But if you got a girl who is going through your phone whenever she wants, bro, that's a headache. That's a woman who don't trust you. She's very, for whatever reason, she's very insecure. And women like that will make your life a living hell, bro. If your girl keep going through your phone, I'm telling you, bro, she's going to make your life a living hell because for whatever reason, she's uncertain. And a woman who is uncertain, bro, emotionally, she can't be tamed. So, fellas, be wise out here. Tell you something. If your cookie ain't better than crumble, 100 crumble cookies combined with Nora Smith making it from scratch, you better not be giving out that cookie, honey. You better not be giving out that cookie. Only premium cookie girls can give it up on a first night in the first week and still keep that man and have him chasing her. Only premium cookie girls. Not dried up cookie, not loose cookie, not worn out cookie. I'm just keeping it real. That's the stuff we don't talk about. But if you gonna have that man wear you out and wear you down, get every part and every hole on your body and wonder why he doesn't call back the next week. There's a lot more we need to level up. There's a lot more we need to level up. We need a GYN and we need a Yoni cleanse. And we need a break from giving out that cookie. A fast down there. See, fellas, 
This is how these women be scamming y'all, bro. If you meet a chick and she's making you wait, I'm just keeping it real, bro. These days, in 2024, if you meet a woman and she really like you and you could tell that she really digging you, but she's making you wait, it's because her pussy is probably trash. I'm just keeping it Like, these women be applying game now. Don't think, oh, she's making you wait because she's a good girl. No. She been smashing. Pussy been getting pounced out. Mm -mm. But she know her pussy is loosey-goosey. So she ain't trying to just put that pussy on you. Nah. She want to get in. She wants you to start liking her for her. <laughs> so by the time you realize the pussy is trash, she wants you to have some type of connection to make you stick around. That's why you shouldn't let no chick make you wait wait on what you gotta test drive the car before you buy it bro don't be a fool don't be a fool bro i'm telling you fam because a lot of women are out here with some trash box and they know it's trash and then they're gonna meet you and then they're gonna make you yo and what's so crazy bro those birds that y'all love to chase that be making y'all take them on dates and all that those chicks pussy be super trash and funky in case y'all don't know so let's be careful out here fellas for real the things come to those who wait i truly believe that all right did you get a prenup i didn't why not because my husband brings all of his money to me so what? i'm in charge he can't spend a dime without my consent he can't spend a dime for nothing unless it goes through me that's that what phone I'm talking go to about. Ringing up, that thing go up. I see everything. That's what so, I'm yeah. talking about. So you always call me Mrs. Davis, Mrs. Davis. Mrs. What's what's your Mrs. Mrs. Kears. Mrs. Kears. Yes. Love yes. it, love yes. it, yes. love it, Mrs. Kears. <laughs> Damn, way to emasculate that man. Pretty much tell the world that he's not really your husband. He's really your little bitch. He can't spend a dime without. Asking me first? He can't spend a dime without my consent? What? That's crazy. And I was so confused by this because, I mean, let's be real. Trina changed men like she changed clothes. So when they said Shorty was married, I was confused because I knew she got engaged recently by this dude. What the what? <laughs> Baby, wait, wait, hello. So now, I guess this is some of the dude. The bottom line is this, man. She's who she is. All right? She got... All right. All right. Here's the reality, people. If you give a woman who is... And I got to keep it real. If you give a woman who is a known bird money, she's going to start handpicking the man that she wants to deal with when she want to deal with them. So that's why if you look at her track record, 
it's a bunch of dudes that she pretty much selected like okay i want to have fun with this guy for like a year or two then i'm gonna get rid of him get back to the streets and that's what she's pretty much doing but as a man bro i don't care how much money a woman got never let a woman emasculate you like this bro never let a woman buy you never let a woman turn you into her little bitch bro you're a man you're a leader she spoke to you like you were her son this right here is sad bro for real okay reason 362 why you will never catch me on hinge and i know my friends are watching this thinking but you said no 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 even thinking about it i'm still embarrassed yeah so when i was on that app i used an alias because some people are on the app to be agents of chaos. I don't need people thinking that I'm on what they're on. So once you pass the stages of us talking and me actually exchanging my real digits, then I will say, hey, my name's Glory. The name I used was Liar, L-I-A-H. And it was an inside joke between me and myself because I'm a liar. And I used pictures all from my Instagram, nothing outside the Instagram because if anyone that I know in real life is like, yo, I saw you, I'd be like, what? Someone's trying to catfish me. This is not my profile. Knowing damn well, that's my profile. Anyway, talking to this guy now, and it's reached to the stage where we're off the app. He doesn't seem insane. He seems like a nice gentleman. And he was like, oh, I'm going to call you. But here it is. Yes, yeah, so as I was saying, I told him that I was a receptionist at a dentist yeah because that is that is a cute job if you work for the right company they'll pay you right do you know what i mean that's my default and i said oh yeah i don't work on sundays because the dentist is what closed but i work early on saturdays told half truth because my show is on the weekend so he's like oh i'm gonna call you after work on saturday cool come home from radio to then sleep, have my Saturday nap, and then he calls me. So after asking him about his day and da 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 da, he's like, oh, what did you do today? I said, yeah, I went to work, remember? I took my nap and everything. He said, oh, how was radio? Sorry, did you ask if I listened to the radio at work? He said, glory, please. Hang up on you, because you're not about to be 10 steps ahead at my Monopoly game. Mm -mm, this is my board game. That's cool. If you haven't yet, go get you some of that merch. You all already know, don't feed the birds. That's what it is. We don't feed the birds over here. So if you rock with your boy, go get you some of that good merch.